Okay, so here we are with day nine, and I'm going to introduce something new to you guys today. If you haven't done something like this before, this is called rhythmic analysis. A lot of people want to learn how to read. A lot of people want to learn how to write. And most of people want to learn how to interpret charts. The foundation elements I see missing in almost all of those things are what are preventing people from doing that. So we are going to do something today called rhythmic analysis. Again, this is white belt work that nobody is above. This is the first day I'm introducing this. We're going to be doing a lot of this over the next um, several weeks. Rhythmic analysis. Now, this is also something that will be with you for your entire life. You can always do this kind of analysis if you ever have a piece of music that's causing you a little bit of trouble. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this really quick, and then you guys are going to do. You guys are going to analyze the page that you wrote from yesterday on day eight. Okay, so day nine, you will not be writing any new music. Day nine is going to be about you analyzing this grid sheet, which you did yesterday. Okay, so here's how it goes. We're going to write over the notes where the notes are played. Okay, so these quarter notes here are one, two, three, four. You literally write the beats over the where the notes are played. All right, so this first line is one, two, three, four, all quarter notes, right? Now, that's the first line completed. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, we are going to go to the second line. Now, these are eighth notes. Eighth notes are counted like what? One and two and three and four and one and two and. So instead of writing the letter uh, right out and, we're gonna do, do a plus sign, like one plus one, one and one, okay? So an and will be a plus sign. So it's gonna look like this. One and two and three and four and. and you're gonna do that across the entire line over each note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's a whole line of eighth notes right there. See how that works? All right. Again, you're going to do the same thing for the quarter note line. Do it again. Don't skip them. Do them. And then you do the eighth note line. Now we have another one on line one, two, three, four, five, the fifth line down. There are 10 lines on this grid. This is the fifth line. Let's take a look at this fifth line right here. So we have quarter, quarter, eighth, 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 eighth. So what's the counting on that? One, two, three, and four, and, right? So let's write that. One, two, three, and four, and. See, so you're getting a $200,000 music major, music major uh, information that you would got in college. And then you get to just do it here with me on YouTube for nothing. Isn't that great? So one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, this is just, I'm just kidding, by the way. One, two, three, and four, and. You go right across the line, do that. Now let's reverse that rhythm. What's this one? One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, go all the way across the line. Do the same thing, okay? Now what's this one? One, two, and three, and four, right? Let's do that. One, two, and three, and four. How about that? One, two, and three, and four. Go all the way across the line. Okay? All right. Now we have our first half note. Ooh, half note gets two beats in four, four. So we're going to write one dash two to show that there's two beats in here. One, two, inside those showing length. One, two. And then over the last two quarter notes, we're going to write three, four. Easy, right? Let's do it again. One dash two, showing length. One and two are inside this half note. And three, four. All right? What about this one? Let's do this one here. How about this one? One, two, showing length. Now these are eighth notes, three and four and, right across the line, do that. And the last one down here, make sure I get this in. This one here, okay. This is gonna be one, two, and then you have three, four, inside this half note here, okay? And it goes all the way across the line, it changes up, 
Changes up a little bit over here. You can see the last two are different. We go quarter, quarter, then eighths, then quarter, quarter, and eighths again. All right? A little bit different on that last line. So you'll have your first page of complete rhythmic analyzation. That's part of your day nine assignment, which will be coming up in your assignment list right after this. So that's how you do rhythmic analyzation. Rhythmic analyzation. We're going to be doing a lot of that. See you soon.